doesn't like event management. Relevance is a small company with a big vision. The startup provides contextual media advertising for video. When a user streams a TV show, an ad will pop up at a moment relevant to the content. The three co-founders have their roots in Panama and Mexico, and they're launching their app in Brazil, where telenovelas are wildly popular. Relevance's CEO says San Francisco is the ideal location for his company, even as it focuses on Latin America. We have access to investors, advisors, uh, resources, other startups that can help us taking the best ideas that survive this environment and placing them in a big pond that is Brazil allows us to operate at scale there. San Francisco is keen to cast itself as a global gateway for commerce, but it can be tough for Latino entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley, as Mexican investor Santiago Zavala knows well. Access to capital is really, really hard, uh, mostly because there's very few success stories, so we're having to jumpstart that part. Zavala is attending the inaugural summit of the Latino Startup Alliance. Founder Jesse Martinez wants to help Latinos in tech network with mentors, investors and each other. What we look at is how do we create these success stories that yield role models that therefore pay it forward. Neither are there many blueprints for Californian businesses looking to succeed in Latin America, a knowledge gap San Francisco city government is seeking to fill. It's launching an initiative called Latin SF to offer support to Latino business people at home and abroad. We're going to develop a, a suite of services and a toolkit for Latin American firms who want to enter the San Francisco market, enter the U.S. market, and base their operations here. We think there is also an opportunity for San Francisco-made products to be sold in Latin America. The city's pledged $100,000 to help boost bilateral business ties and the visibility of Latino entrepreneurs. In San Francisco, more than 15% of the population is of Latin American origin, yet in Silicon Valley, less than 1% of all venture-backed startups are founded by Latinos. That said, investors are starting to see the opportunities offered by Latino startups with their sustainable business models and low capital needs. Rebecca Bowring, CCTV, San Francisco.